Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Marvel Studios takes a turn for the weird, the trippy, and the gloriously silly with Doctor Strange, the latest entry into the massive Marvel Cinematic Universe, which deepens the shared world in a big way and has a lot of fun doing it. Benedict Cumberbatch is perfectly cast as Stephen Strange, an arrogant surgeon who, like Tony Stark before him, has no other qualification for being a superhero other than extreme intelligence and a drive to be the best. After suffering a catastrophic car accident that gives him severe nerve damage in his talented hands, he squanders his entire fortune in a quest to heal himself, until he finds himself desperately searching for solutions in Kathmandu. There he meets the Ancient One, a delightful mentor played by Tilda Swinton, and the story gets pushed, literally pushed, into bonkers territory from that point on. A light-hearted romp, though not exactly as breezy as something like Ant-Man, Doctor Strange sets itself apart with judicious use of humor. Characters, even self-serious ones like the other sorcerers and even the villain, get in some wisecracks in between the spell casting and portal opening, as if to indicate to our hero and to the audience that yes, these are real human beings with personalities and an appreciation of just how awesome magic can be. This is most important when dealing with supernatural tales. There must be a sense of wonder. And that's hard to do today in the age of excessive CGI, but there are sights here that beg to be absorbed in breathtaking IMAX 3D, whole realms of color and depth, and mind-blowing shifts of perspective that you have never seen quite like this before. We get a little taste of the visually stunning action very early on, during a scene when the Ancient One gets into a viscerally thrilling and mind-bending altercation with the villain, Caecilius, played with menace, if not very much depth, by Mads Mikkelsen. Once Stephen Strange gets his introduction to the mystic arts and the infinite possibilities, dangers, and powers that come with it, the visual spectacle and inventiveness goes through the roof. Buoyed by an appropriately spacey score by Michael Giacchino, we see astral projections, mirror universes, weapons conjured from thin air, and spells that can turn back time. And like Stephen Strange, I'm barely even scratching the surface of the possibilities in this universe. It can be quite a lot to catch up with, even with massive exposition dumps provided by all of the supporting mystical characters. Maybe too much. We're used to superheroes whose strength is derived from either technology or serums or gamma rays. Now there are spells, dimensions, and loops, each with their own rules to keep track of. Now, if you're a fan from the comics, then hey, great, you can jump in with both feet. If you're not, you may find yourself a little lost from time to time. What you won't find yourself at any point is bored. Aside from the fascinating visual delights, this movie is overflowing with captivating ideas. The three sanctums that protect our realm, all located in major cities around the world. The Cloak of Levitation, which acts as a cross between Iron Man's suit and Aladdin's flying carpet, only way, way cooler. The Eye of a Doctor Strange just sort of appropriates for himself, even though it's a sacred artifact. He's just a a guy with a thirst for knowledge, a desire to be the best, and so he just picks up this thing and starts learning about how to use it. What could possibly go wrong? The film has a lot of fun with this device, and it leads to a fantastic showdown with the literal big bad, which doesn't end like any of the other comic book movies to date. How gleeful I was after so many of these climaxes get resolved when the heroes use their fists to see a hero whose fists won't work and who must save the day using logic and knowledge instead. I award Doctor Strange a large bag of popcorn. Incredible to behold, inviting of multiple viewings, this movie introduces loads of new concepts and ideas, almost straining the limits of a superhero origin story past capacity. But it nonetheless opens up the Marvel Cinematic Universe to entirely new possibilities with the introduction of mysticism and sorcery to the equation. Stephen Strange is a welcome addition to the roster of heroes, and I can't wait to see his further adventures, especially when you start throwing him into the mix with the Avengers. Judging from the Easter egg scenes, there are two this time, so stay all the way through the credits. It's gonna be a spectacular dynamic when all of these heroes get together again. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter, at Movies That Pop. Click the icon right down there to visit our channel if you'd like to see more, and support us by clicking subscribe while you're there, and by clicking the thumbs up icon below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on Doctor Strange in the comments as well, but keep it spoiler free, guys. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel, and Sanctum damn near killed him! <laughs>